Hey guys, I wanted to do a video on this. Someone had a question uh, wanting to know, why is my blood sugar high when I'm on keto? And what's really weird is that when that person started eating, their blood sugars went down. So the blood sugar spike occurred when they were fasting. Weird. Well, let's talk about why that could be. That usually is a situation where the person still has insulin resistance. Okay, they're usually a diabetic or a pre-diabetic or might not even know they're a pre-diabetic, they just have really bad insulin resistance. So years before, uh, they ate a lot of carbs, a lot of frequent foods, a lot of junk foods, and that built up this thing called insulin resistance where the insulin doesn't connect that well. And that creates actually a situation where you have too much insulin outside the cell and not enough insulin inside the cell. Now the signals are picked up inside the cell transmitted over to the liver, where the liver starts making glucose. That's called gluconeogenesis. Gluco meaning glucose, neo, new, genesis, making. So your liver is making the sugar. It's not coming from the diet, but it's raising the sugar in the blood. So all this means is that you're not out of the woods yet. It's gonna take some more time. And just so you know, most, if not all diabetics, have insulin resistance. So this is why the higher sugar. So what can you do about it? Okay, so number one, continue to reduce the carbs. Number two, start doing fasting, okay? Number three, exercise. Exercise is gonna burn up that extra glucose that's in the blood. So be very, very smart to do this. Get more sleep. Sun, vitamin D, will help insulin resistance. Decreasing your stress will help. Consuming fiber from vegetables, can help because it actually feeds the microbes, which then make butyric acid, which then uh, helps insulin resistance in your blood sugars. Apple cider vinegar can help you. Uh, potassium, enhancing the diet with more potassium foods and actually potassium itself. And vitamin B1 can help reduce insulin resistance and help stabilize your blood sugars. And just realize over time, your blood sugars will um, come down and actually stay down uh, once your liver gets the message that it's connecting. All right, thanks for watching. So if you've personally benefited from the information that I put out in my videos, I would love to actually see your success story too. I put a link down below so you can upload your before and after pictures with your story.